What's up, guys? Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we are on the free to play because, oh man, I'm back to being hyped about this event. I think we're gonna start going for maybe like a core of origin chest. I don't know. <sighs> I was saving up this free one as well, and I don't know who to use it on now. I guess we could use it on like a Patricia. Might not be the worst idea. Sure, why not? Let's go for a Patricia copy, see if anything good comes of it. Absolutely not. But there's no solo awakening gala. There's no solo awakening session. So I'm guessing next month is when we have it. And yeah, we keep on going. So free to play life. Uh, well, we just so happen to have 483 wishing coins. So what we are going to do, is we're going to buy all these, all 60 of these. We're going to see how lucky we can get on this account here. Maybe we can high roll. If we can, that would be amazing. Uh, if not, we're still getting loot, which is really, really good. So let's see what we get out of 60. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's not great. It's not great. We only got six words on our main account. We got like 11. And we didn't hit a single diamond. So we don't get any treasures. But if you get some Aurora, some Scattered Spirit Bane. Hmm. Kind of what I would call a low roll, to be honest um i don't even know if we're gonna get this chest just if we're gonna be able to afford it this week we will see but we need what and we need to use like 400 coins right oh i keep going to super wishing found regular so do one two three Four, and we have to do the fifth one because five times 80 is 400 and that should oh i just hit the wrong button whoops uh that should give us the things we need hey it looks like it might actually give it to us so we did a little bit more than a loop but most importantly we have 154 you're gonna have to go over by just a little bit but this is gonna turn out to be one of the best things for us do we go with gems or scrolls 382 ah i feel like gems in this situation is probably the right pick so let's go and again all these things don't really matter as much here let's take a look and see what island piece we need the most of so we want those iron ingots more than anything else so we'll go with iron ingots to get more progression from the ticks uh, chances are this is probably going to be the best thing for us. Make that right there. This one, again, I don't think really matters. I just would go for more active. Active seems to be like the most useful one, right? And then this is the important part. Again, we need to pick the style of clothes. Now, I think I'm going to start going for a core of origin. I think we have three sublimation chests already, so we can keep accumulating those. When we can get a core, I think I want to get a core to just plan ahead because, like, as Patricia in there, it should be good. So we need to pick forest clothes once again. Make this up. There we go. We get to claim out our core, and we get the treasure as well. Uh, we got a couple more eggs to open up. But sadly, nothing all that great. So should we try our look at some other things? We're not really spending or anything here. Should we give this a try? We could literally do all 10 of these right now. Let's see the animation. Let's see what it's all about. Is it hype? Is it not? Oh. <laughs> I actually hit an S tier. Uh, I guess S tier maybe is not that hard to get. Awaken Recycle. Oh, and that's how you get the resources. Okay. Okay. So. Oh, wait. Wow. I just did a 1.5%. Is that my first ever S tier and only S tier I'm ever going to hit? Uh, everything looks the same here. Percentages all look the same there. Man, if I wasn't still sick and half tired, I think I would have been even more amazed. We actually hit an S tier. Which uh, I guess, oh yeah, there it is right there. I was like, wait, why is it why is it not orange? That makes no sense. <laughs> I mean, whatever, guys. This is pretty awesome. Although, sadly, we didn't hit a single good egg. No 
diamond eggs. So no super awesome treasures. Uh, we can't even do another step, right? Because this step requires 10, which means we'd have to finish this entire loop, which does not sound like something we want to do. Although, I mean, if we have the coins, it would get us a ticket. It would get us another Ignis copy and some profit orbs. Might be worthwhile to do it. We'll take a look. We'll see. It might be worth going in for this. Honestly, though, I think gems wise, I'm going to try to save back up to this because as you guys know, we could always use more light and dark hero copies. Um, Trisha's still not in this one, though. So there's that. There's also the fantasy starry gems. But do we really care about that? And of course, we might want to save gems up for Sky Labyrinth as well, because you can get up to 40 of these, which are going to be pricey. Don't really need anything from that event. And like I said, we're not doing any value packages. We're not getting any tickets. We're not really going for any treasure train stuff here. Uh, we have what one ticket and we got this egg now as well, which gives us how many stats? What does that give us? We got the egg. A decent amount, 838,000 HP, 21,000 attack. So still sizable buffs that we're gaining here, which is nice to see. Now we can upgrade this a little bit more. Just a few more points, a few more points, a few more points. There we go. Uh, we do need to start working on our other tenant soon, but again, shadow and shadow makes it a little difficult to deal with when it comes to building food, especially when we don't quite have the copy. So we're still getting progress though. We're over 40 million HP now, which is really strong. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if that means we can push a little bit further, maybe through this boss right here. Let's take a look and see. That's going to be pretty close. I will say a lot of people might be baited into going for the fortress uniform, which will give crystals of transcendence as well as, or I should say, or stellar shards. Uh, I don't think that is a good option to go for in free play, but hey, this is good. We got some progress because of the power upgrades. Uh, stay away from this one. This one's kind of a bait. You don't need to build the heroes faster. You need to start saving the secondary resources, really. That's going to be the most beneficial thing. Let's see. Maybe with all these upgrades, this Eloise is getting even stronger. We got stronger tenants. We got stronger everything now, which is nice to see. Hmm, not quite. And actually, while I'm doing this, I'm reading comments on our video this morning. I'm like... Yep, nope, happened to me. I should have waited for Barry to do the event and mess it up first because I did it too. Yeah, we all make mistakes in events. That's why we try to do it here and let you guys learn from my stupid mistakes. Don't want you guys making those stupid mistakes because then it feels really bad. Oh, come on. We totally had that victory. We totally had that victory with Eloise. Man, I can't believe we have like three sublimation chests. We have one or two core of origin chests. By the time we get our Patricia, she's going to have a lot of resources. And I think that's the biggest difference nowadays on a free to play is even getting the first transcendence hero seems to be faster. And then beyond that, getting them to the point where they can be destiny transitioned is extremely fast. Okay, we need to stop being twined. Can we, can we not be twined, please? We need to use our active against those fairy guards immediately. Immediately. Come on. No, we got twined again, but I think this active is going to kill us. I think we have to use our active into fairy guard when we do have unbending will, and then we'll be in a better spot. This just might be a little too difficult for us right now. Simple as that. Yeah, it's just when we hit into the fairy guard without unbending will is our issue. So we essentially need to just not be twined at the end of this round here. This is the scary round. We need to not be twined. Please don't be twined. Please don't. Please don't. Yes. Okay. Wait. Wait. That still kind of works. Nope. Doesn't work. 
Ugh, if only we had more control immunity and we're already using the auspicious lucky cat so it's like ah, oh, what a tease what a tease we'll give it a couple more tries if not we'll move on but sadly yeah not looking good it, it, we can beat this wave it's just going to take a certain number of attempts and we just have the patience to do it because yeah it's going to come down to control immunity and that sucks yep so not gonna be able to get done but let's be honest that little bit of progress we made honestly we probably have some more stuff that we can do as well uh yeah we hit s tier lutz <laughs> i guess that's good most importantly we got our half core board and hopefully you guys enjoy it so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below i'll see you guys next time good luck on your free to play